So a couple of days ago, I made this video titled Opera Air is my new favorite browser and it was a mistake. So if you're my regular viewer, then you probably know about me that I use multiple web browsers, at least two web browsers. Chrome is my like main web browser, which I can't replace. And second, I was using the Edge as my secondary web browser for a long time and it was the default web browser. And my secondary web browser is actually always the default web browser. If someone sends me a link or something, it goes to the secondary web browser. I have like multiple instances of Chrome for multiple accounts and whatnot. Chrome is basically my main browser, which I cannot replace for now. I had some issues with the Edge, so I can't use Edge as my secondary web browser. So I was like, wow, this Opera Air looks really cool. I mean, I really like the way Opera Air looks and I thought, Let's use it as a default web browser. And I used it and I was like, uh, it's, it's not working. <laughs> okay, it's not working. So let's say for example, the main issue right now is that it doesn't detect the dark mode on most websites. Actually, it doesn't matter what I do. Let's say for example, I have this website. This is the same website, okay? This is a Zen browser. We'll talk about the Zen browser too. I have also used Zen browser as my secondary web browser a long time ago, a couple of months ago actually. And it also didn't work that well. Now they have updated the logo and it is in stable version. It's actually usable. I like the Zen browser, but still there is something holding me back from using Zen browser as my secondary web browser, which I'll get into as we go through this video, okay? So main issue with the Opera Air is that it feels outdated. Whenever I open a website which actually supports dark mode, like for example this one, almost all the websites support auto dark mode these days. So that thing just doesn't work in Opera Air. Even this website isn't in dark mode. I made this filter for my gaming channel. So I do this and record this and it's really cool. Now let me open this same website on other web browser. It's in dark mode, okay? This is what I want. And most modern web browsers do this. Like they detect the dark mode and they apply it automatically. But Opera Air, don't do that. It looks good. It, it actually looks good. That's the reason I was like thinking maybe I can use this as my secondary web browser. It, it looks really cool by default and I don't have to do much. Let's just say just because of the dark mode, I don't like it. And then I tried Zen browser now it's in stable version. This is my second try on Zen browser. And I was like, wow, this is actually cool. I mean, people are loving this web browser. I have seen many videos on this. I also did a video on this, like when it was in beta. Yeah, it was good. Now it's even better. But now uh, there is this thing, which is the main reason why I stopped using Microsoft Edge. The resource usage is high. Okay, this now has become a my way of like benchmarking the web browsers now. This is a Snapchat filter that I built by myself for a gaming channel. If web browser cannot handle this like lags or uses more resources, then I can't use that web browser. This is something Microsoft Edge sucks. It doesn't work at all, but it works on Zen browser. I like that but look at the resource usage. Okay, so now we just have to compare the uh, uh, the Zen browser and Opera Air because those are the only two things running that uh, website or that uh, filter. It is actually using, look, look at the difference. Wow, it's huge, massive. 25 almost percent CPU usage and this much RAM. I don't care about the RAM that much. I mean, if it's using too much, I mean, yeah, I have to worry about it, but look at the Opera Air now. It is using 14%, which might look okay, but this is also too much, <laughs> okay? So this is like, I can't use Zen browser because it's gonna be using more resources, okay? Now, I'm gonna close the Zen browser. It's actually really good, I'm not saying that Zen browser is bad, but for my use case, I don't think it fits. Okay, it just uses too much resources. Now, let me show you guys same thing, same website on 
Google Chrome. Okay, let's select our webcam. Okay, they're actually doing pretty well. They are using almost the same amount of CPU and RAM. Okay, actually Chrome, I don't know why, you know, there was a time when everybody used to hate Chrome because it used to use a lot of CPU and RAM. It's actually a lot of RAM, but now, it does so well compared to other web browsers. At this point, I have tested almost all the web browsers out there. Uh, I think I should stop looking for the new web browser for my secondary web browser. I can just use Google Chrome beta or something and they will work just fine. 8%, 9%, 10%. Now, Opera Air is also doing kind of good, you can say that, but it's still using a little bit more than uh, the Google Chrome. Plus, RAM usage is also really low compared to uh, Opera Air. It's like almost the half of what Opera Air is using. I've done this test when I stopped using Microsoft Edge. So I can also pull out the Microsoft Edge here. Microsoft Edge just doesn't actually work. And this is actually concerning for Windows users. Look at that. Look at that lag. Look at the resource usage. <laughs> what the hell is that? Okay. I, I'm not gonna say this again and again. Yeah, I, this is the main reason why I don't use Microsoft Edge. So there are many apps on the uh, Microsoft Store. Maybe you use them, for example, Snapchat. This is a web app and this works with the Microsoft Edge. If you don't have Ma Microsoft Edge, that means you can't use it. And imagine you're getting this performance. Guess what, just go and download the uh, Snapchat on your PC and try to use any filters, it's just not gonna work. I mean, I'll happily use Microsoft Edge, but there are so many issues with it. This is the main issue for me, okay? For my use case, it just doesn't work. Look at that, even after using more resources. There are some things that I actually use on Windows, which requires Microsoft Edge. That's why I have this thing on my system and we can't even uninstall this thing normally. like we have to force uninstall it. But since I use some things on the Windows which requires this thing, I have this thing just here. I just never open this. Whenever I need to do something that only works in Edge, then I open it. On the other hand, for some reason, Google Chrome works everywhere. It has never disappointed me <laughs> as far as I know. And for some reason, it actually uses less resources than the other web browsers. Chrome used to be the most hated web browser out there because it used to use a lot of resources compared to other web browsers. No, that's not the case. No, I'm not here to like promote Chrome. It's just my experience. I should just stop looking for the other web browsers. You know, I should just keep using what works. Okay, it just works flawlessly and it is using less resources and this is what i want and this is what most people care about actually look at that the microsoft edge it's like i don't know brother what's happening i'm using more resources but i can't do it yeah i can't render this thing out <laughs> this thing was made for entertainment for my gaming channel whenever i play a game i put this filter on and you know just for the fun but now this has become a what do you call it the benchmark tool for me i just run this if web browser runs this well plus uses less resources i mean yeah that, that's a good web browser in my opinion now my last hope was the zen browser because everybody was talking about it and it is actually really good now it's in stable version it has the vertical tabs which i don't prefer actually because uh, uh, I need to learn the keyboard shortcuts for doing many things like even to close the tab, I'll have to use the keyboard shortcut or I have to go in here and close the tab. I mean, I can do control and W and that will close that out. Yeah, I, I actually learned a few keyboard shortcuts. It's not that difficult. This web browser actually looks and works really well. But again, the only reason I can't use this is because it uses more resources than Chrome. The most hated web browser for using most resources is now better somehow than other web browsers in terms of resource usage. I'll try out the new web browsers here and there. I'll test them out. Maybe I'll do review and all that, but I won't be using them unless I find something better than Google Chrome, which I don't think I'll be able to find 
anytime soon. You know, it's like more people are using Google Chrome. It's the most popular web browser. So Google has more data about us. Yeah, I know some people say that in the comments, but they also have more information about their web browsers. Like they can detect more bugs or whatever you encounter with the web browser. They can fix them faster than any other web browser and all that. You know that, okay? I'm not gonna go too deep into this, but yeah, let's just say I'm just going to stop looking for a new web browser. Uh, for the secondary web browser, yeah, I'm just going to keep using the Chrome beta. I can even go with the Canary. It's been a while. Ever since I stopped using uh, Microsoft Edge, uh, I started using the beta here. And I never faced any issues, actually. Yep, never, ever. So looks like the Chrome beta is better than some of the browsers out there. You know, Microsoft should allow other web browsers to be used on their operating system because as I've tested and seen the Microsoft Edge's performance uh, towards certain websites, it looks like it doesn't do that well uh, in terms of performance or the uh, resource usage like if I want to use the Snapchat on PC, this thing relies on Microsoft Edge and Microsoft Edge doesn't perform that well. Actually, let's do a last test. I'm going to actually try to use Snapchat and hopefully it works. So you can see this is basically a web app. Now you can see this thing just doesn't work. This is the same thing that I'm doing here. It, it's even lighter, the thing that I'm doing compared to this because this is a whole like Snapchat application on web or as a web application. But this is much lighter. Like this is just one filter that I'm trying to do and it just works here on Chrome and uh, every other web browser. But Microsoft Edge can't do it. Look at that. It just doesn't work. Uh, yeah, yeah, now it's working, but it's really slow. You can see there. This is a bit concerning actually. Microsoft needs to fix the edge or they should allow other web browsers to be used on the system uh, even if the Microsoft Edge isn't there like you know we can use other web browsers for the web apps that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it yeah this is kind of like yeah I'm done looking for the next you know web browser that I want to use I'm just gonna keep using Google Chrome yeah I'll like if there is some interesting web browser I'll try that but i'm not gonna try to replace this with chrome for now i mean maybe in future we'll see some web browser who can defeat chrome but for now i think chrome is the king maybe not for everybody for me it's it actually works and that that's the only thing that matters it not just works it actually like is perfect web browser it uses less resources than any other web browser and all that you know Okay, I'm just talking too much at this point. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.